Hi, South Point Church. Uh, Tracy here. I wanted to come on and share my story with you. Um, I want to share my testimony with you if you'll give me a few minutes of your time. Um, and testimony sounds like a very churchy word to me. So what I mean when I say that is I want to tell you about um, my story with Jesus, um, about how I fell in love with him and about the story that he is um, writing in my life. So, um, so let me get started. When I was young, I grew up um, in what I like to say was a Christian household. My mom was a follower of Jesus. My dad was not at the time. So um, my mom um, was loving and generous and kind and sought after um, sought after Jesus daily and raised my sister and I to know the Lord um, and to be compassionate and caring. And so um, I, I look back at my life and I, I don't know of there ever being a day that God wasn't a part of my life, like that I was aware that God was part of my life. Um, and I think that I have my mom um, to thank for that. And so I accepted Christ at a really young age and I was baptized at age seven. Um, and then um, moving forward just a little bit in my story, when I was in seventh grade, my dad got very sick uh, and he had a surgery and he was hospitalized and he kept getting worse and then he was in the ICU. Um, and then it turned out that they did not expect him to live. And so um, I didn't know it at the time, um, but as he was in the ICU, you had to be 13 to go in. So my sister and I weren't allowed to go in. And then all of a sudden one day we were allowed to go in and we thought, just thought, oh, that's great. Uh, it turned out that we were allowed to go in to say goodbye to our dad. Um, and so we didn't know that. We didn't realize that that's what that was. Um, but now, um, I go, oh, that's really heavy. So that night, um, after my dad had said goodbye to my sister and I, um, that night he couldn't sleep in the hospital and he was thinking um, about his life and about what was missing from his life and about what he was going to miss out on. And that night, my dad accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and started following Jesus. Um, and within two weeks, my dad was back home and out of the hospital and healing um, and getting better. And so, um, so uh, I believe my, my family experienced a, a healing um, in that, my, my father did. And um, that was very pivotal, a very pivotal point um, in my um, faith development. Um, and when my dad started um, becoming a part of our faith as a family of seeking after God, um, as a family of participating um, with our church as a family. That was really pivotal to me and the example that he set and he and my mom set um, together for my sister and I um, was very significant in my life. Um, so um, as I continued um, to seek after Jesus, um, Young Life was really um, critical in my like faith development in my high school years. I went away to college, um, participated in like Campus Crusade for Christ and Student Impact. Um, I ended up um, marrying a man in ministry. My husband, Tim, is the executive, executive operations pastor here at South Point. Um, and um, I just continue to um, seek after God daily, to say yes to him daily, um, to commit my life to him daily. Um, and um, I've never never regretted that decision for a second. Um, so I will say um, that God has always been a part of my life daily, as I mentioned, um, but there have been a few seasons in my life um, that have been a turning point in my relationship with him. Um, and to be honest with you, they are generally trauma experiences. Um, I don't know why that is the way that, that God chooses to work in my life, but um, that is what I that's what I have um, seen in a few instances. So that time um, when my dad almost passed was very pivotal. There was a time in my early 20s when I experienced um, some trauma and that um, was very pivotal in my faith. And then again, um, with the, um, both of my children um, and, and most of it is their stories and not mine, so it's not mine to tell, but um, my one of my children, um, we fostered and adopted through foster care um, and there was some absolutely some trauma there and then um, when my other child uh, has some major medical um, major medical challenges um, and so I think 
somehow God uses those trauma experiences to draw me closer to him, um, to teach me about him, to reveal himself to me. Um, through all of these things, I've learned of God's faithfulness and his goodness and his unfailing love. And I've learned tons about um, how to love others well and how to love God well. Um, and so in a nutshell, that is um, my story with Jesus. And so I thank you for listening. Um, and I cannot wait to hear what your story is and what God is doing in your life and how he is using you. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.